looking more into the world of wearable technology, we just realized there's this huge void in there. You know, wearable tech is great, but it, it doesn't do that thing which everyone wants it to do, which is help them real time. And that's what we can fit in. It's that gap between you and the technology and the information the technology can bring you. In essence, it is a smart pendant. It's a smart pendant that does a number of core functions. The principal function was navigation. For example, if you were going too fast on your bike, it might give you a warning vibration. Or if you need to go left when you're navigating, it will give you a vibration on the left-hand side of your neck. And then we realised the neck was a great place to pick up information. Things like heart rate, breathing, there's a whole lot of information that goes through the neck. You can set triggers if you want to make, say, your heart rate reach 120. You can set a trigger that could send pulses back to you, just to alert you. You need to calm down a bit. On top of that, one of the key applications is voice. This enables you to interact with technology in a much smoother way. And you can just say, open the blinds. It's kind of a flowing relationship with technology that we wanted to create. We want to fulfill the niche of subtle technology that, that really works in an intuitive way, but also with the body. And that's why we've gone down the, the route of haptics. Haptic feedback is uh, giving a simple set of vibrations. And it's a vibration that happens on your skin, so it's very subtle and discreet. We have the technology which touches you on your neck. If you look through the silicon, we can see tiny little motors that give you a little vibration pulse. So you'll have a very discreet, but very accurate haptic feedback. We're using the Edison prototyping platform, just been released by Intel. The Edison module integrates all of these devices into one very small form factor. What we're doing is we're making an open platform. We're giving our users a load of different sensors and hardware which they can use in endless combinations. You use the technology as you want to use it, not be told how to use it.